the things that you say and do, you have to be very careful. Hey, hello, my name is Augustus, and welcome to my channel. I learn about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. Is that great? Yay! Okay, so if you like my videos, please hit subscribe, do me a favor, and well, you'll keep on seeing this face. So today I want to really talk about awkward conversation tips for introverts. I don't know if you had these conversations, but uh, it's one of those ones where it's like, man, I really wish I hadn't said anything in the first place. Or there's like this awkward silence. You can just hear all the crickets. It's like, oh man, okay. Maybe I should have said something else. That was uh, that was bad. Yeah, so this is to help you have less of those conversations. Because, like, to be honest, even in, like, regular conversations, there will be awkward moments because, like, you will be talking with people that generally you know kind of well, but not, like, in a very deep level. You'll probably know one or two people like that. But then with... Most people, you'll know them casually, so it's, it's, it's bound to be awkward sometimes, but you just want those times less. So the first tip I have for you, especially for the introverts, is build that conversation. Remember, the more material that you give the other person to build off on, then the more potential that conversation will develop. If someone says, hey, how's your day? And you're like, good. Like, that's not really a lot of material for the other person to, like, ask questions about. So the more you share, the more you talk about, the more the other person has something to continue this conversation with. So you want to really increase the amount of things that you say actively so that the other person has something to talk about. Now, the second one, for me, the longest time I had like this stiff face where I can't really smile and my smile looked awkward, <laughs> but smiling always helps. So t one of the tips is almost always going to be smiling because it's your natural body language. And when you smile, the other person feels better. So remember to smile. The third one is maintaining eye contact. This is one of the common struggles that introverts especially have because they tend to look at the floor instead of at the person. And when you look at the floor, they can't tell if you're paying attention to them or if you actually want to talk to them. And you can't just assume that they know that you're shy, that you're looking at the ground and that you actually want to talk to them. But you have to actually look at the person when you're talking to them so that it continues that conversation so this is important practice at home if you have to maintaining that eye contact gives that person the message that you are paying attention to them so the last tip that i have for you is talking about appropriate topics this is one actually one of the things that i feel like you have to learn over time and you get better with different social contexts and situations because I was um, taught in this group setting and there was this one guy that genuinely thought that it was okay to talk to a bunch of girls and then have them judge which breasts are fake or real. And he thought that was okay when it was obviously a very, I would say general rule of thumb that it's just not okay, just don't do it because it's really putting a lot of judgment on, uh, on women and like there was a lot of pressure like on women in terms of body image already. So it's the things that you say and do, you have to be very careful about uh, these type of issues because like don't judge other people, especially not in terms of things that they can't really control. Like I'm short, so like and i can't do anything to change that then so be careful about how you comment on people's body and this person 
did not get that memo over time, and it was it was a very awkward set like situation. The the girls were not happy. I'll tell you that, and this is something that you really have to learn to understand that there are some topics that are inappropriate, some are okay, and to- refer to topics that you know are okay. And so the question for today is. What made your conversations awkward? I mean, I already shared with you a good amount of stuff on what made things awkward and how to stick on to like the lighter topics, things that they learned the hard way. So yeah, if you want to share with me some of your thoughts, yeah, let me know down below. And stay strong, stay healthy, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care. A lot of introverts too, like build that conversation. <laughs> Oh my goodness! What the heck? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, awkward conversation too. Okay.